So here's another ARC battery install we just completed. These are 100 amp hour, 48 volt batteries. And uh, they call it a 51.2 because that's the actual voltage, but 48 volts the nominal. It's got the breaker on the side. It's also got a, a screen that gives you a lot of useful information. All right, so there's the screen. Right now you see it's blinking. Uh, what I really like is you can use the bus bars for the terminals. Uh, there's two terminals on each the front of each battery, and there's also terminals on the bottom. But if the screen is blinking, that means the battery is charging, and it actually has a timer countdown on there that tells you how soon the battery will be charged based on what you're doing. Uh, and it also goes solid if it's discharging. There's the specs for the battery. That's the handle. I love the way the battery has handles built into it. These are unwieldy about 130 pounds and uh, it has handles all over it also comes with a base included on it so you can you can put that base if you want to mount it standing up like that you can use the base and uh, we really like this three battery configuration it's really easy to install and takes up a minimal amount of floor space you're looking at 15 kw right there in three batteries so uh, these batteries cost $2,500 a piece for the 100 amp hour 48 volt, the ARC 51.2. It's 5 kilowatts for $2,500. Uh, usually ships for about $300 and you can ship up to, I think I've got seven before on a pallet. So you can get a, for $300 shipping, you can get a bunch of batteries. Now we're just going to park here on the spec sheets for a minute. Take a look at that max continuous charge current, discharge current, and uh, those are really important specs. They tell you uh, just how much power the battery can give, one battery can deliver. And you need to know that because if you put too small of a lithium battery on too large of an inverter, the inverter can draw more power off the battery than the battery can provide and it will trip the BMS off and your battery will be turned off. And um, you'd have to go inside the battery and turn it back on. So with the ARC battery, uh, I'm there's a couple of small inverters out there that you could use just one arc battery, but for everybody else, I'm kind of recommending two. I did have a customer use one arc battery with one Radian 4048, and he was able to get it to work pretty good. But uh, we're recommending two arc batteries for most systems. You can use two arc batteries on one Solarc 12K. Uh, you won't void any warranties. And, uh, but most people are doing two or three or more arc batteries. So please contact me if you're looking to buy one of these batteries. I do these videos because I want to help people and I want to spread the news about solar and spread the word, kind of uh, get rid of these bad installation practices. But I also do this because this is good advertising for my business and uh, I sell a lot of material. And I want to thank all of you guys that are watching these videos and calling me and buying material because that's one of the reasons I'm able to do these videos. So once again, if you're looking to buy these ARC batteries, contact me, my uh, contact information is below on this video. You can also reach me directly uh, through text messaging or uh, email. Thank you. Have a great day.